In this video, we're going to look at MIDI recording options in Pro Tools. Before you begin recording MIDI, there are several MIDI controls, quantization, and MIDI through options that you'll want to configure. If we look in the MIDI control section of the transport window, which you can access by going to the transport window's pop-up menu and choosing MIDI controls, and here you can see a variety of different MIDI controls. The first is Wait for Note. With Wait for Note enabled, Pro Tools will wait until it receives a MIDI note to begin recording. A different approach is to enable the count off, which will count off the number of bars that you specify in the settings. If you double click on the bar number, Pro Tools will bring up the click count off options window, and you could change the length of the count off to a different number of bars. Next, we have the metronome control, which enables and disables the click in Pro Tools, and the MIDI merge function. With MIDI Merge enabled, you can make multiple record passes on a MIDI clip, and all of the data will be combined. With MIDI Merge disabled, subsequent record passes will overwrite the data in the clip. Next, we have the Conductor Track Enable Control, which, when enabled, forces Pro Tools to follow the settings in the Tempo and Meter rulers. If you disable this control, you can type in a tempo or click and drag to set the new tempo. And finally, if you want to change the meter, you can double click on the current meter and Pro Tools will open the Meter Change dialog. Here, you can enter a new meter as the basis for your song. Input Quantize is another feature you'll want to consider before recording MIDI data. I can access Input Quantize by going to the Event menu, choosing Event Operations, and then Input Quantize. This will bring up the Event Operations dialog with the Input Quantize operation selected. Here you can enable Input Quantize, which will automatically quantize all recorded MIDI data to the settings that you specify. Typically, the default settings are used. Quantizing note ons, preserving the note duration, and using a quantized grid of 16th notes. That way, the timing of your performance will be quantized to 16th notes, which should be a relatively subtle change. Once you've enabled input quantize, you can dismiss the event operations dialog, and input quantize will continue to run in the background. Listen to how input quantize automatically improves the rhythmic feel of a sloppy drum performance. The last setting we'll want to consider is MIDI through. If you're tracking with virtual instruments and you want to hear the sound of the virtual instrument when you play a key on your controller keyboard, you'll need to have MIDI through enabled. You can enable it by going to the options menu and choosing MIDI through. And those are some of the Pro Tools controls you'll want to configure before recording MIDI. We'll discuss the individual controls in more detail in subsequent videos.